In this video, we'll discuss how to use the user input block in your automation workflow. The user input block allows you to place one or many user inputs at a specific point in your automations, allowing you to capture user data that can be shared to the AI. Once the user input block has been added to your workflow, you'll be able to configure it from the configuration panel on the right. For this example, we'll be using the user input block to build a simple blog post generator. From the configuration panel, we can tap the plus icon to add user inputs into the block. You can either create new ones or add in existing inputs. For this example, I've already created some inputs to use. We have an input called topic, which is grabbing the subject of the blog post. We have an input called tone, which is asking for the tone of voice for the blog post. And we have an input called keywords, which is asking the user to provide any relevant keywords. We can highlight them all and then tap add. Now you can see all the inputs in the configuration panel. From here, you can reorder them, set them as optional or required, or remove them completely by tapping the minus button. Now if we look at the generate text block, we can see that our message instructions include each of the variables we are gathering from the user inputs to generate the blog post. Now that our user input block is configured, let's see how it looks to the consumer. First, we'll add in our blog topic. We'll tell it to write a blog post about the importance of AI for your business. Then we'll say we want the tone to be formal. And last, we'll provide it with a few keywords. And there's our blog. Thanks for watching this video about the user input block. We'll see you next time.